Hello and welcome to XTP Guitars. Today I would like to take you for a trip to Birmingham in like February 2019. It was yearly uh, organized the guitar show. As you can see there was a couple of quite famous people, Ron Tal, checking out guitars of my friend from Druszkowski uh, guitars and actually there was lots lots of fun and lots of beautiful guitars that actually you know you, you needed like a whole day to walk around and see all the details and like enjoy everything. Not very big place uh, Probably it's not such such a huge place like Nam uh, in America is, but you know, for the guitar maniacs, the gear maniacs, place that you really need to go to and really you really need to uh, have a look what's going on. Uh, beside the big brands, you can see small luthiers, just like Truskovsky, just like Stone Wolf guitars. Valenti from from Italy and uh, for example Semp Internal so new people new people making making guitars like by by hands and actually lots lots of, of, of gear that sometimes you not you not even know the gear like that exists for example did you know about Taurus from Poland probably not so actually if you go over you can find out about really really cool stuff let's go for the trip around here is beautiful Trabant Trabant is, is the German uh, car made in the communist era Eastern Germany communist Germany uh, and this is like a model of this of this car and team from Frederick Frederick effects made effect out of it inside you got guts of uh, of quite effect like like fast like overdrive which is which is based on on uh, east german design the only east german uh, overdrive and fast uh, like you know in in production so team from frederick effects just took it Stripped, stripped it apart and actually he built his own version. Check check his stuff out because he's really good. If we're talking about Germany, of course we need to mention German effects made now by f by the brand called Bitronic over Hive, Octa Hive. As you can see, there is always a connection with with the bees. <laughs> so probably they they do the buzz, <laughs> but you can make the buzz off as well. Some old school, old school stuff for the women's back. So if you took your girlfriend, oh no, uh, that's the amplifier. Sorry, then I thought it's like a you know some kind of lever for for women. Of course, it was in Britain, so you got lots of British luthiers, AC guitars and reverb guitars. They work like in some kind of co cooperation both together as you can see this like this is like headless headless style new style new style guitars then you got a little bit more uh, classical approach to to the guitar to the guitar building but like I said they work in some kind of cooperation beautiful instruments worth checking of course another British luthier is Hagee Williams here you you got like a proper classical approach to the guitars which are based on super strats and les paul the gold les paul is is covered with with like a proper gold plates it's like like gold flakes rather but but there is gold inside of it uh, as you can see craftsmanship on the very very high level beautiful beautiful woods uh, you know like used for the for for the look and for the tone as well probably uh, so so you know chance to see the guitars which you don't really go to shop and see them in a the shop anymore uh, this is like you need to look deeper for those kind of for those kind of people if you go to the to the Birmingham show you got it all in one place another brand was set Seth back Bacchus 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 something like something like that 
the same classical approach of uh, Les Pauls, but with different kind of styling, with some influence of Telecaster somewhere. You know, like going the the, the path of the classic, but but taking it a little bit into another dimension or another like time time warp or something something like that very very interesting very interesting guitars you know worth seeing and beautiful actually as i mentioned before there was guys coming for example from italy valenti guitars uh, amazing build, amazing quality, amazing hardware, amazing woodwork, amazing materials, you know, if you go over, see them, touch them, you will know what it is all about with the Luffy's guitars and where is the, where is the, like, difference between the guitars made in the factories and guitars made hand, 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 I mean, like, handmade by, by someone. I wouldn't go into the path of talking about the, you know, like, uh, and uh, good energies and things like that because that's that's not the way it's just the work and it's just it's just some kind of passion which is which is coming out in those instruments when they when they made uh, Valenti never made exactly same instrument in his life so every single instrument out of I think 50 of, of what he what he of what he did or 60 uh, was was different was was unique and that's that's what it is all about like you know handmade luthiers luthiers guitars i love luthiers guitars so so birmingham is my place ben crow making a film section with me so hopefully you're gonna see me in his video from from the from the show uh here you got uh, i was laughing this guitar is made out of old chair or some kind of uh, seven, 1970s furniture. <laughs> very interesting uh, design. Very, very, you know, like something, something I've never, I've never seen anything like that before. But but quite interesting. And beside, the, it's it's quite funny. Probably it's quite good as well, you know, playing wise. So so why not? Here you got like a normal crimson guitar stuff. Uh, probably you know crimson guitars already if not just check them out and here you have Yamaha Rev Star uh, guitars designed by Polish designer uh, working for Yamaha uh, which I am very proud of because I am Polish so so you know there's like a Polish spice in them and I need to tell you they are looking at the you know the the, the big the big producers guitar like like you know all those manufact manufacturers, not not the Luthiers, those Rev Stars are, are one of the best designs I've seen over the last couple of years. So, so actually, you know, big thumb, big thumb ups. I didn't check them out yet. I'd like to. I know lots of Pacificas, which you can see now, and actually, um, I like Pacificas. But you know, with 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 those Rev Stars, I'd like to check them out. So Paul McCartney wasn't there, but the guitars he used to use in his mostly the Beatles era was there. So if you are looking for this kind of, of instruments, you could find Hefner, Hefner guitars as well. Very, very classical, very jazzy style, but why not? And it's not only metal which exists in the world of guitars and not only rock and roll music. Like I mentioned before, Semp internal instruments, semp internal guitars, uh, made by very very young uh, Luthier Josh. I think he has like five six years old experience in making guitars. I need to tell you, there was lots of stuff that you could, let's say, hang your eye on them <laughs> and actually, you know, enjoy enjoy them. Uh, as you can see, there was uh, guitars for left-handers and and right handers, uh, you know, like put all together looking like in a mirror. Uh, so, so there was, you know, not, not a lot of, of lefties are there. So, so there was something, especially if it's like Luffy guitars, lefties may be very, very interested in them. So that, that's like a big props, let's say. Uh, his approach for super strat his approach for for let's say v shape because that's where it's coming from but it's not the classical v shape really uh and michael angelo battio as well this kind of this kind of style semp internal guitars so they will last forever 
Evison, Ivison, uh, guitars that you would think they are coming from like 1960s because they are really really into this kind of, of stuff and they, I wouldn't say copy, but they highly inspired by, by you know, the old school, beautiful stuff. And of course Mr. Mike Payne from Stone Wolf Guitars, resin and wood in beautiful strange shapes and mm, fabrics and all the materials that you will never think you can use to make the guitar, Mike will make it and will do it. <laughs> no, honestly, piece of art and actually, you know, beautiful stuff and check if, if, if you don't know him, check him out definitely, because you're gonna love the this, this stuff he's making. And Mike is using very, very unique and uh, very, very good pickups from Oil City pickups. They not like uh, the pickups you know uh, already. They are specially engineered to be different and better. And another example of British luthiery. <laughs> uh, Grinder guitars. Guitars made to play metal, I would say. Uh, you know, unique, unique shapes again, unique materials again, unique uh, combinations and actually very, very nice look and design. So Oh god, check it out as well. Beautiful stuff. Actually, all the guitars are beautiful. There is no ugly guitars. You may not like something, but someone else will love it. So, you know, the guitars are for everybody. Let's spread the word of guitar everywhere. And this is Denison, another British luthier. And another cool, wicked stuff. Modern and classic. Feline, 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 uh, definitely uh, with classical approach, Les Paul V-shape, uh, Telecaster, this green V-shape is beyond imagination of, you know, beautiness, it's amazing, but all of them, the color, the colors and everything is like, you know, like eye catchers, but this green, this green V was okay, I'd like to have it, but then I saw the price and I was like, okay, I need to wait for a while and save something, uh, <laughs> some money or like, you know, take a credit, but I don't want to take credit and probably I will, I would need to save some money. Which is not that easy in this uh, time now, because it's hard times. And another classical approach, this time coming out of China. But I need to tell you, it's not a cheap Chinese crap. Eastman Guitars is one of the best, less Polish approach, less Paul approach over the couple of last years. And actually, they got like very good reviews in in every git magazines and all on the YouTube channels and everywhere else. I'd like to have opportunity to check them out, but you know, I'll never buy it because it's another thing which is too expensive for me. But they are absolutely awesome. Of course, when we're talking about the electric guitar, we need amplifiers for them. So on the show, there was lots of different amplifiers to be checked out. For example, those ones from a company called Gartone. As you can see, it's very old schoolish Fenderish approach. So probably they sound like old tweets and everything like that. The only problem with the show is like you cannot really check anything. The noise level is so high, actually you can't hear anything anyway. But you can have a look at everything and just decide later. So when we talk amps and when we talk Britain, there must be the victory. Victory. Not so new, but quite new brand on the market, uh, with lots of lots of success. Uh, you know, they got Richie Kotzen as, as the signature guitarist, 
huge huge success and huge achievement and uh, they got lots of different amplifiers for lots of genders on my channel you can you can find review in polish but um, actually I've, I've played days like like a flagship or you know flagship uh the duchess beautiful beautiful clean channel uh, and beautiful amplifier some effects as well some preamps so you know lots of lots of good stuff not only for the wood lovers but as well for electronic lovers guitars amplifiers and of course the effects there is nothing more interesting than guitar effects. <laughs> so lots of different brands, big names, small names, handmade, you know, factory made, um, inspired by old stuff, creating the new stuff. Uh, the whole range of effects you can imagine was the... And now I got a question for everybody watching. If you know uh, the guitars and if actually you are into the into the stuff, was the Black Machine first in the new wave of uh, metal guitars uh, in the world, and did they start the whole the whole era? And now, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest surprise I've seen on this show, honestly. Stack, the brand is not known for, you know, like the high quality stuff. It's rather cheap stuff for the beginners. But when I saw those uh, guitars, they, they called Silver Ray, I was like, I needed to check twice or even three times if this is the right stand if, and if they are really Stack instruments. Cause the way they look, the way they the, the way they are made is a little bit more than what I saw before with this with this brand. They are going into this path of those instruments, you know, not like don't get me wrong, but the the, the, the style of them is like all those new instruments from uh, from Fano, from Novo, uh, you know, this this kind of stuff. So combination of of Les Paul and Telecaster and some kind of strange strange designs you know P90s uh, but but for example free free knobs like in Stratocaster uh, you know very 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 new thing uh, for me and I was really surprised what I see you know especially it was stuck and especially that actually I wasn't expecting uh, you know something like that to be seen from from stuck so I was I was amazed. Probably I am still a little bit amazed by them. I would like to check one out. Why not? Another British classic orange amplifiers. Beautiful, beautifully sounding and actually well made for years well known all over the world that's what i would like to check pedal baby i'd like to check it out there must be something proper for the pedals that's what i guess uh i got micro terror i was using it no, i'm not using it anymore and again we go into the realm of the guitar effects uh, lots of strange configurations, lots of strange effects, lots of knobs to turn up and down. <laughs> uh, if you like effects, just check my new uh, stuff on the channel, which is called the Guitar Effects Connection, when I'm trying to connect, you know, different effects and see w what kind of sounds you can get out of them. Sometimes there will be really strange uh, connections and I love that fuck jazz overdrive oh god what a beautiful name for the effect of course I'm a, I got lots of respect for jazz music but you know when I saw it I couldn't stop laughing and here from Marshall JMP1 to Fractal XFX that's a trip through time Rob is working so hard at the moment mm -hmm. His fingers must hurt him. Anyway, share gold guitars, guitars uh, with the influence of old British brand share gold and uh, the new influence of uh, Mr. Patrick James Eggle. 
beautiful instruments uh, made in Indonesia, high quality, with high, high quality uh, pickups from Simu Duncan and you know like all the good gold the good parts like from Wilkinson that's a new design here I think one of the most beautiful guitars I've seen on the on the show honestly beautiful connection of Les Paul and Telecaster and some kind of modern things as well funny thing uh, at the ESP stand I didn't find any ESP guitar there was only LTD guitars, which is like the, you know, a little bit cheaper version of of ESPs. Uh, but there was no ESP, which I was quite surprised with, because you know I was expecting at least one or two. You know, it's I know it's expensive stuff. I know it's not stuff for you know everybody's pocket, but you know that's that's a huge name on the market, so there should be something show shown off. You know. So I was a little bit surprised with that. Uh, I love LTDs guitars because uh, they are really well made. And over the years, when I was checking them out, I was always, you know, amazed with the with the quality of them. As well, I love Gordon Smith, and Gordon Smith is one of those guitars which I would like to uh, have in my collection. Sometimes you can find them quite cheap on the second-hand market and probably that's what I would go for and one day I will have one of those Gordon Smith. You can call them British Gibsons. There is no doubt they are amazing and actually not only the old ones you can find on either eBay or Reverb but as well all those new ones very very good approach for the Gibson style guitars. I love them. And how many fenders can you put all together in one place? And what for? <laughs> Do you really need so many fenders? You know, is there so many fender lovers in the world? And actually, you know, you need all those silver, blue ones, white ones, black ones, humbucker ones, single coil ones, stratocasters, telecasters. Jaguars and just masters? Do you need all of this stuff really? Of course you do. And you know, you may love them, you may hate them, but without Leo Fender and all the stuff which happens after that for last what is it like, like now 70 years, there would be nothing. So it's not only Gibson which I love. But it's Fender as well, but those Gibsons kicks ass. The green SG, the flying V at the end, mm, all those Les Pauls, beauty, beauty, beautiful stuff. Some kind of cheap faded SGs which are well made and very well sounding instruments. I got I got a couple of them as well, like Tokais, you know, which are not the rip off, but the huge influence of, 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 of the Gibson. Like I said, this grips Gibson, the Gibson, Greenson, <laughs> uh, Green Gibson SD, beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'd like to have one like that. I didn't, I don't have it yet, but you know, I'd like to have all the guitars in the world. So, if you know the lottery number, give me the lottery number, and I will have all of them. Firebird, why not? With the simple design, good price. Joe Perry's. Joe Perry got the new model now with one pickup only. That's that's like old Joe Joe Perry. You know, if you love Gibsons, just give some comments. Write the comments below and actually tell tell what kind of Gibsons you have. I love Gibsons and I will always love Gibsons. I don't know why. Well, I know why because they're amazing. Flying V. Sorry. This is the best guitar in the world, in the whole world of, gu of guitars. Flying V. Get one, you will never want any other. If the richest priest in Poland have a guitar, prob probably there would be Maybach guitars from Germany. Actually, they made in Czech Republic, but the brand is German. Uh, and why the richest priest would like to have it? That's kind of Polish joke. 
so Polish watches know what I'm talking about all the watches from the world doesn't know but if you got a Polish friend ask them and they will tell you all about the richest priest in the world and the Maybach unfortunately the homeless person won't give them to you you know that in Poland in the communist era people used to use Nivea cream to clean the fretboards thanks God we got cosmetics for guitars now Maybe this Mesa Boogie is small, but the price is still quite huge. Of course, probably worth every penny, but you know, the joke is the joke. Uh, another bunch of effects, classic effect brand, Roland Boss, you know, one of the first uh, effectors maker in the market. Probably everybody got at least one boss pedal in the pedal board or in the collection. I got a few and I like them. Why not? Very good. I have made a couple of interviews with with guys on the show. Unfortunately my microphone didn't want to work and actually all the sound which I recorded is gone. So I will need to go to a couple of places, for example Monte Guitars, which is in London, not so far away from me, and actually make the interviews again. Monte Guitars is like a workshop, they will montify your guitars, they will make it sounding better, they make uh, pickups, uh, they interested in Russian tanks from from the Second World War, uh, and actually, you know, they even got some old fender single coils and they stripped them apart and they checked how how soft is the wire inside and how much wax was used and they're trying to you know make it again now at least to sound like original stuff old school approach but with camper on a stand I had an interview with Patrick James Segal as well of course unfortunately I don't have it because my microphone decided to die ah, I'm not gonna go so far away like you know even behind Manchester to make it again so whenever I catch Patrick James Segal again on any kind of the shows I'll try to make this interview happen again Patrick James Eggle is a living legend of British Luthiery he's making uh, guitars with a small uh, with, with with in a small workshop with four people they work on those beauties you can you can see here classical approach to Les Pauls to Telecasters to, to Super Strats and actually very very good quality like I said before he's involved with Shergold guitars and as well he designed the Faith guitars acoustics nice colors very nice colors and the shape as well is beautiful i like razorback there was a small small joy among all those effects which i love <laughs> joy forever uh, and gibson forever as well i love gibsons like i said before i don't know anybody else love gibsons as well there was no gibson stand like you know Gibson distributor or whatever but on a couple of different stands you could find lots of Gibsons Godin Jacksons with this green Jackson there is a story it was written on it uh, Jackson JS uh, 32 but actually that's stealth EX model so I went to the guys and I told them oh, you are wrong price is okay <laughs> you know like from 300 pound to 240 to price was okay but that's like a stealth EX model so they change it um, one of those guys who's going to the shop and like saying uh, I know better than you <laughs> you know this kind of the guy uh, like I said lots of uh, different different guitars new shovels GLs washburns and then and all the stuff you you love what guitar you love the most tell me what brand as well there was some acoustic guitars but I don't know even more than five chords so I'm not into acoustic player uh, 
twin twin stumps very interesting effects very nice designs of the effects with kind of uh, you know smart features uh, like I said a couple of of, uh, of acoustic guitars uh, lots of uh, old guitars pensasur high quality high quality instrument uh, in the in the last corner you could find of, of the show of course you could find like you know custom shop telecasters uh, some old gibson some old and new tokai guitars so so lots of lots of fun and lots of different brands and actually you know lots of nice guitars for everybody like i said before there was something for everybody if you love the guitars if you are into the guitar on this show you could find anything for yourself and actually many things could could please you tokais they are beauties as well you know, especially the old ones from Japan. Hmm. Some some people say they were even better than Gibsons, so, so there must be something in it. I don't know if those are new Tokais or old Tokais, because they are, you know, they got got back on the market. Of course, they do as well Fender Fender style guitars. So you know, if you into this kind of stuff, go for Tokai as well. And again, some nice amplifiers, this time from PV. Uh, this small Piranha I would like to check, compare it to the 6505. Uh, I got old classic VT. There is like a Vox stand with, with classic stuff, Trace Elliot for, for bass player. So, you know, even for bass player, not only the acoustics, wow. Taurus amplification from Poland made his own beer new colorful Jacksons and shovels you know going back to 1980s the pink era you know and all this all this stuff the the fashion is is coming back here you go less polish style of of the instrument with emgs made for mr marty friedman by jackson uh ibanez of course ibanez huge brand gretch a uh, huge huge brand everything was there you know if you want to know more about the guitars go for the show like this uh, Lani classic British amplifier very underrated but actually high quality I got two Lani's and they are amazing sound and amazing build and the design is different than everything else so so go for Lani if you're looking for cheap good amplifier but not cheap, you know, because it's it's a low quality. It's qu high qu quality for good price. Like I said, Ibanez. It should be pronounced Ibanez, not Ibanez, because it's not British name. It's not English. It's it's Japanese, so it's Ibanez. Anyway, Ibanez guitars, classic super strats. You know, the one of the most important producers of this kind of guitars in the world not only hardcore series you know for some for some jazz players they got approach of, of Les Paul as well you know uh, with the new series Road Worn they touching touching fenders as well but they are the most the most they are known at this time uh, from from this kind of of guitars, so super super strats for shredders. They started with very good copies and low low suits <laughs> of of uh, you know Gibsons and Fender, but now they they just go into the path of super strats. It was noisy there, so you might have need some thunder plugs. And if you want your guitar to look different, you could facelift your guitar as well. Why not? Strandberg guitars, one of the pioneers in making the headless designs. Of course, they wasn't the first, but they are well known for this kind of shape and actually, you know, the approach of of the guitar without the headstock so you know they were like like i said the pioneers beautiful instruments very ergonomic and very good sounding you know from what i from what i know i'm not a big fan of of headless guitars but maybe one day just for the change 
Of course, if we were in Britain, there must have been British guitars. Hmm. There was lots of British guitars before. Those ones are, let's say, designed by the British citizen. <laughs> Rob Chapman. Hopefully he's British citizen and after Brexit he's, uh, he's not gonna be kicked out of the country. Ah! <laughs> political jokes, not politically correct. Anyway, uh, Chapman guitars, well known in the world, you know, quite new on the market, but you know, with, with big amount of fan base, you know, they got lots of lots of fans. Going better and better with the look they're not so simple in design anymore they got different finishes and you know they they, they look they look different than the one at the beginning developing very good you know maybe one day you'll see another chapman on my channel and here we have the true british amplifier marshall made in vietnam hmm even the origin series, which is, you know, like advertised like the original Marshalls, it's as well made in Vietnam. So, on this stand, there was something which was quite worrying me, and you will see it in a minute. But first, you can have a look at Marshall sunglasses. So if you want to look, you know, like a proper rock star, you need Marshall sunglasses. That's what they're doing now. For the price of 50 quid, you can buy Marshall sunglasses. Instead of the effect, you can buy yourself sunglasses. No comment. But that's what was worrying me when I saw the new JCM800 Lead Series Studio. It's a very, very new amplifier and it was worrying me and I was looking at the back of it and I was praying, please don't be Vietnamese. And it's not, thanks God. Trev Wilkinson, another guru of British luthiery. He wasn't there, but his Fred Kingston vintage guitars was. And another bunch of funny looking good sounding effects from the company called Fuse Fasrocus Fasro Fasrocus how <laughs> to say it Fasrocus feed me <laughs> feed me with, with the feedback uh, how wrong I said the name of this Fasrocus I should have checked it on the Google pronunciation robot Check Druskovsky guitars, Druskovsky guitars. They are amazing handmade guitars. I'm saying that. This guy was saying that as well. At the beginning I thought it's like, you know, all those black parts are not there. And then I saw it's like a little bit bigger, a little bit more fire British, but beautiful framers. Amazing. Chinese Democracy. One of the best Guns N' Roses album ever. No doubt about that. I love this album. Rob Williams, Telecasters, Super Strats, British uh, handcrafted guitars, one of the most beautiful Les Paul I think I've seen in my life. Maybe Eastman guitars are beautiful as well. Of course, not talking about Gibsons, the original ones. But I need to tell you that it could be that that was even better looking than the Gibson was. I don't want to say that. I think there is no limit with what kind of shape of the guitar you can really make. What do you think? Is there any limit, like limitations of what kind of shape of the guitar you can make or want? Hello to the guy who was explaining his son this is Pink Floyd album uh, cover. No, it's not. And even if you're not into prog rock, you must know the King Crimson in the chord of the Crimson King. Because this is classic. Ah, no hard feelings. Uh, anyway, PRS guitars. One of the best guitars in the world, I need to say. American ones, there is something about them 
actually making them really outstanding from all the other guitars you know they are very very good but very very expensive as well so lottery numbers give me them if we were talking about the shapes and where is the limit that's fidelity guitars let's say old school but as well with this modern way of looking at the old school isn't it i didn't know that sandberg is not only making bass guitars but as well uh you know like normal electric guitars so i was quite surprised not so surprised like with the stack series but let's say i was it's very strange that in my collection I don't have any Blackster amplifier. Mm, I need to do something about it, or maybe Blackster need to do something about it. <laughs> uh, cheers to Metasoma Polish metal band playing on them. And here we have very very niche product. And uh, Mark Foley is making uh, pickups for Stratocasters and two effects. I need to admit. The amount of guitar effects on the show, the the choice you could you could have uh, when you are into this kind of gear was amazing. There was small brands, big brands, well-known effects, effects you have never heard about, you know. So lots of choices and lots of good choices. Very very nice stuff. I love effects. Isn't the electric guitar the most beautiful item in the world? Like, you know, with all those variety of shapes, colors, configurations, woods, resins, plastics, carbon fibers, uh, old pine from the uh, burned house or Gibson Les Pauls without the frames for the pickups. <laughs> uh, that's like, you know, it, it is the most beautiful item in the world. So if you in love with the guitar, if you love the guitar so much, like me for example, please write the comment below that you are the guitar geek, the gear maniac. Please do that. There was a couple of famous YouTubers as well. Mm? And there was even... Uh, guys who will organize guitar holiday for you guitar breaks you go in there enjoying drinks and some workshops with the guitarists of course bare knuckle pickups was there as well so everything like i said cables guitars effects amplifiers guitarists whatever you want was there Concerts, famous guitarist, you know, this is Ron Tao, Bumblefoot. He's like the, the, the first league, the premier, the, prem, the premiership of, of the guitarists in the world. That's it for today. If you liked it, please thumb it up. If you didn't like it, thumb it down. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.